What you see now is not image manipulation or computer art. This hole can be found in the middle of a Central American city. To this day, no one knows what or who caused this huge hole. In addition, there are also mysterious deep blue lakes in Asia, an incredible number of sinkholes in Florida, and many other huge pits around the world. They occur unexpectedly and basically destroy entire cities. It is very strange how more and more these phenomena have become increasingly present on the planet. Subscribe to the channel, like and share the video on your social media. Come with me to unravel the most incredible situations that arise in the world, in space, or in other dimensions. You're in the 21st century. If we don't take action soon, we'll be swallowed up by one hole or another. The chance to save ourselves is to finally discover why these depressions happen and how to stop them. To understand the reasons behind such holes, scientists decided to study similar natural phenomena that formed on Earth long before humans arrived. In the image, these holes are usually deep, have a regular round shape, and look somewhat artificial, as if they were created by aliens, for example, near bottomless blue lakes. They have attracted the attention of scientists for a long time, but it was not easy to study them. There is always something that interferes and prevents researchers from finding the truth. That is why there are so many legends around these celestial holes. For example, fishermen from the Umbrella Islands debunked a myth. Scientists wanted to go to the bottom of the lake to unravel the mystery of the Dragon Hole. However, the marine corals that surround the upper layer of the cave never let them. With the help of an underwater robot, they reached 300 meters. If we took a luxury skyscraper on Billionaire's Row in New York and put it at the bottom, we would only see its tip over the lake. On the surface, all attempts to explore the Dragon Hole in more detail failed. On the other hand, scientists have uncovered terrifying secrets about another cave, the Great Blue Hole, located off the coast of Belize in Central America. With a depth of at least 124 meters, it is three times larger than the deepest underground cave. Who knows what other mysteries these mysterious cavities still hide? Are they interconnected or independent of each other? The exploration of these underground regions can help us better understand our planet and its history. The parking lot in Hangzhou, China seemed to be just another ordinary place until researchers ventured to the bottom of a well and discovered something intriguing. At 90 meters deep, they realized that life in the lake was disappearing due to a thick layer of toxic hydrogen sulfide and a complete absence of oxygen. Shells and hermit crabs suffocated in the hole, and even two divers lost their lives in the mysterious cave. Thor's well, on the Pacific coast in Oregon, is even more dangerous as no one knows its actual depth, and anyone who approaches it can lose their life. This abyss bubbles like a fountain, and the water fills the cavities in the cliffs before disappearing without a trace. Even holes that form on solid ground are dangerous, like the famous one in the jungle of San Luis Potosi, Mexico. This giant cave is almost the size of the Empire State Building, and entire teams of insects and snakes inhabit it. The walls are covered in mold and fungus, whose vapors are dangerous for humans. Despite the difficulties, scientists have managed to gather some important facts about underwater and underground depressions. They have discovered that all of these formations are actually ancient sinkholes. Scientists continue to study them with caution and determination, but it's best to stay away from the well if they want to return safely. Experts theorize that these cavities originated millions of years ago as a result of intense erosion processes, lava flows, landslides, and even regular rainfall. However, when it comes to blue lakes, it is believed that they are ancient glaciers that melted and filled the cracks with water. We could simply blame nature and move on, but these depressions stopped appearing hundreds of years ago until suddenly, in the late 18th century, the process began again. Around 50 years ago, in the middle of the Karakum Desert in Turkmenistan, a strange sinkhole emerged that could easily swallow five two-story buildings in London at the same time. Its diameter was only two times smaller than the London Eye. But the scariest thing is that, 
For the past 50 years, this place has been expelling fire as if it were an entrance to the underworld. The locals nicknamed it the Gates of Hell, and it became so dangerous to live nearby that people from the nearest village of Darvazib moved away from that Tartarus. No one knows if the eternal flame of the Devil's Crater will ever go out. This is not the only depression that has unexpectedly appeared without any apparent reason. In 1980, in the state of Louisiana, a gigantic whirlpool appeared in Lake Penier. The vortex was so powerful that it swallowed not only everything in the lake itself but also houses on the banks, trucks, barges, and even a small island with a botanical park. All of this was followed by a sudden reflux. The lake deserves to be called the Gates of Hell much more than the crater in Turkmenistan, especially since the water filled the lake. Some really strange things started happening there. Ducks that previously swam in those waters went away, and frogs and salamanders died. Regular freshwater fish were replaced by absolutely different species. Scientists continue to cautiously and determinedly study these formations. Even with all the technology and knowledge we have today, there is still much to learn about these natural wonders and sometimes dangerous occurrences. Will we ever completely unravel these mysteries, or will we always be fascinated and a little scared of the power of nature? But what intrigued locals was the depth of Lake Penier, which increased 100 times. The 3-meter deep lake turned into a sinkhole, descending 396 meters, which is even higher than the Eiffel Tower. Almost 20 years later, on the west coast of the United States, in San Francisco, an unexpected sinkhole devoured two houses. Three years later, the ground cracked open in the middle of an interstate highway in San Diego County. A colossal hole even swallowed a car. But what could cause these sudden disasters? Mel Waters, from the city of Ellensburg in the state of Washington, was sure he knew the answer. In 1997, during a live discussion on the American radio program Coast to Coast AM for Supernatural Stories, the man claimed to have found a mysterious well on his rural property. He said it was over 24 kilometers deep, which means it could easily fit eight mountains as high as Mount Olympus. Waters also claimed to have seen his neighbor throwing his dead dog's body into the hole, and after some time, the dog was seen alive and unharmed. In addition, sometimes the man could hear old music coming from the hole and some unclear voices. While the caller categorically refused to say exactly where the hole was, everyone began to think the story was a hoax. However, a man describing himself as a shaman named Red Elk contacted local reporters and insisted he had personally seen the frightening hole and even performed rituals with it. According to him, he lowered a bucket of ice into the hole and then a sheep inside a wooden box. When lifted, the ice was warm to the touch but had not melted, and the sheep was dead. When the shaman dissected the animal, it appeared to have been cooked alive from the inside. Furthermore, the sheep's tumor was in remission and, in the wind, revealed a moving baby seal. Red Elk thought the hole was an ultra-secret alien base maintained by the US government. I wonder why the shaman didn't go further with this conspiracy theory. For example, why not suggest that the hole could teleport us to Area 51? Although no one really believed him, Red Elk led a 30-person expedition to the frightening hole to prove he wasn't lying. But eventually, for some reason, he had no more idea where to look for it than anyone else. It seemed that some unknown force had hidden it from the world. This means that all other holes may have a mystical origin as well. For example, I bet the Turkmenistan gates of hell appeared as a result of some ritual. Or am I wrong? Actually, they were created by geologists. These guys made a fatal miscalculation while searching for oil and hit a huge underground cavern filled with gas. The drilling platform collapsed, taking all the equipment into the methane-filled hole that was so valuable. The resource was completely wasted. In Lake Penn, years later, the whole disaster happened for a similar reason. At that time, drillers destroyed the salt mine located beneath the lake. Fresh water was dumped into the mine while salt water from the Gulf of Mexico flooded the lake bed through underground channels. That's why the animals that previously inhabited the lake couldn't adapt to the new conditions and were replaced by species that were comfortable in salt water. 
The Devil's Sinkhole in Mel Waters Place in Ellensburg was given a scientific explanation by researchers. Here too, thanks to journalists, the media found a clue to find the hole. According to Mel, it was supposedly located near Manistash Ridge. The local newspaper checked and reported that no one named Mel Waters ever existed in the area. This story is probably just an urban legend. Let's face the fact, the Earth will not collapse on its own. Humans are ruining it, or rather, the progress they have made. All the holes I mentioned were formed from the end of the 20th century when industries were rapidly developing and the world's population was growing. This is because humanity needed more and more resources. The problem is that not everyone involved in their extraction is qualified for the job. Consequently, new sinkholes continue to appear all over the world. So, can we stop this? Since the turn of the 21st century, sinkholes have been occurring more frequently worldwide, with devastating consequences. Take a look at the photo. A typical town with a population of 20,000 located in northeastern Oklahoma. However, it no longer exists today. This place used to be a cozy hill, where residents would have picnics. But then, 22 years ago, a huge hole suddenly formed. It all started in the early 20th century when explorations of the area revealed underground reserves of lead and zinc. During World War I, there was a strong increase in demand for lead in the United States as it was needed to produce ammunition. This is how the jar became one of the biggest mining centers. Around 75% of American bullets and bombs used in both world wars were made with metals extracted from the photo. With the emergence of mines and factories in the town, local citizens began to fall ill much more frequently. Children swam in streams that ran red with arsenic and what they thought were sunburns were actually chemical burns. Beautiful landscapes began disappearing into the ground, creating new and growing sinkholes around the town. In 2009, the government decided to buy the properties and permanently evacuate the population. Currently, only 20 brave souls still live there and unfortunately, the soil will never recover. There is nothing we can do about the impacts of mining and living there will be dangerous for decades to come. Ten years later, an even more devastating tragedy happened in Guatemala. In the middle of the city, a 93-meter deep hole emerged, almost as high as the Statue of Liberty. The government blamed the eruption of the Pacaya volcano and the tropical storm that swept across the country and damaged the underground pipes. However, the negligence of local authorities was the true culprit. They deliberately ignored the leaking sewer system under the factory for many years, and the water inside these pipes ended up eroding the soft volcanic rocks. Nature completed what the neglect of public utilities had started. They tried to fill the hole with cement but it ended up being an impossible task. It has been 12 years and Guatemalan authorities still haven't been able to stop the leak and prevent the hole from growing, even though they attempted to fill it with cement in 2007. However, no one considered that groundwater could corrode the cement and make it flow to other areas, potentially increasing the risk of sinkholes appearing in other parts of the city. Unfortunately, no one seemed to care, as it was the quickest and most economical option. Another disaster was inevitable, and in the same year, a few blocks away from the same textile factory, a deep hole of 100 meters occurred and swallowed an entire residential building. Five people died under the debris. The scariest thing about these sinkholes is that they appear in an instant, without warning. In 2011, a retiree named Enocencia Hernandez was awakened by the sound of a deep depression forming beneath her bed. This happened because in Guatemala, there is basically no safe place. Sewage pipe leaks, porous volcanic soil, and heavy rains have made this land extremely unstable. However, there is one place on the continent that surpasses even Guatemala in this deadly competition, Florida. Florida is the epicenter of sinkholes. In 2013, in the city of Claremont, a three-story vacation home partially collapsed into a hole with a depth of four and a half meters. In the same year, a 15-meter hole opened up under the home of 36-year-old Jeff Bush. His bed literally fell into the ground while he was sleeping in it. 
Unfortunately, his body was never found. It is possible to prevent Florida's lands from collapsing, but the truth is that the chances are very slim. The entire state is above many underground karstic caves that can collapse at any time. Due to water erosion, however, ordinary people have no idea that they may be living in dangerous territories. But this problem not only bothers residents of the United States. In 2016, in Fukuoka, Japan, a giant sinkhole swallowed a five-lane street right in the city center. This huge abyss was as deep as the hole that took Jeff Bush's life. City officials did not provide any clear explanation in denying the apparent reasons that led to the disaster. But residents had no doubt that this happened because of the construction of an extension of the subway line. We can simply stop building new subway lines. The next time you need to take several buses to get to a remote location, ask yourself this question, have previous sinkholes appeared in that location? Now, the process is gaining momentum and disaster occurs every three years. It is entirely possible that, in the near future, new sinkholes will open up almost daily. We need to be prepared for this. And if the earth collapses right below you, how do you save yourself? That's a difficult question to answer. But perhaps it is possible to detect signs that something is wrong before it is too late. It is important to be vigilant about signs of soil instability and take necessary precautions. And remember, Florida is not always the safest place.